bold reds, glossy pinks, and pale nudes, Lipstick's history is as rich in drama as it is in hues. From Cleopatra to Kylie Jenner, it has been a trademark for some of the most influential women in history. But while it's considered as a strong symbol of female beauty and empowerment in our current society, the power it wields has caused lipstick to be regulated and condemned on many occasions. So how did it become a fixture in every girl's handbag? And where did the trend start? Humans have been painting their faces for as long as they have been painting walls. But the first man-made lipstick can be traced to 5000 BC in ancient Samaria, where men and women ground semi-precious gems and white lead to cover their lips with the now iconic red pigment. The trend was then perpetuated in ancient Egypt, where makeup was not a symbol of gender, but a way for the upper class to affirm its status. Cleopatra herself famously created her own signature shades, with a mix of ant eggs, carmine beetles, beeswax, and sometimes crocodile dung. For women of ancient Greece, a society that granted them very little privileges, lipstick was totally forbidden, except for sex workers. Interestingly, they were allowed a few more rights, like owning a business and making money, proving yet again that well-behaved women rarely advance history. Through the majority of European Dark Ages, wearing lipstick was thought to be a form of witchcraft and could even be considered as a cause for annulment. But Asian and Middle Eastern civilizations didn't let the millennia-long Western recession stop them from pursuing their love of cosmetics, which led to the invention of solid lipstick by Arab cosmetologist Abu al-Qasim al-Zarawi in the 9th century. Lipstick didn't fall back into favor in Europe until the 16th century, when Queen Elizabeth I decided to forego the church's opinions and paint her face white and mouth bright red. Despite the queen's intervention, lipstick maintained its bad girl reputation, which didn't keep some fearless women from all layers of society from trading recipes on the DL and secretly making their own rouge. And what about men? Their use of lipstick gradually disappeared around the time of the French Revolution. One of the last popular male icons to wear it being George Washington. The end of lipstick's tumultuous history can be traced back to the late 19th century. Ease of manufacturing, low prices, and chemical innovations enabled French company Guerlain to produce the first commercially available lipstick. After centuries of patriarchy limiting women to putting on their rouge in secret, red lipstick became a radical symbol of feminism and rebellion. Thanks to the explosion of silent films and photography, the stigma against bright lips finally receded. And by the 1930s, Vogue had declared it the most important cosmetic for women. Today, women are expected to spend around $1,700 throughout their lifetime on expanding their lip color collection. Some people would surely find that ridiculous, but not everyone realizes how amazing it feels to put lipstick on in the morning as though you're painting on a fierce war paint. As Coco Chanel very well said, if you're sad, add more lipstick and attack. From a symbol of status, prostitution, witchcraft, and finally female empowerment, lipstick has always been closely tied to women's history. Luckily these days, the only thing to worry about is which color you'll choose to decorate your pout. How did you like this video? Tell us what you think in the comments.